Hello everyone, my name is Clay. Today I'm going to go over the quick start guide with you. Quick start guide is the first part of Kellum Enterprise training. Uh, the, the training uh, includes five areas and it can be instructor led or it can also be self guided. And uh, the first part talks about the overview of the Calum Enterprise and the clients. And the second part is the maintenance functions. And part three is inventory functions. And the part four is about the system functions uh, for Calum Enterprise. And the last part is uh, the client functions. For a quick start guide, we're going to go over Calum EAM and uh, introducing who we are and the product function overview, the clients for the web, uh, for mobile device, and also the offline client. Uh, just a quick overview of who we are. Calum EAM was conceived in 2006. Version 1.0 was released in 2007. And we have been a Texas corporation since 2007. Our mission is to deliver the best EAM CMMS solution through business-friendly open source technologies and superior customer services. Our product is Kellum Enterprise subscription, including the enterprise products, the maintenance, and technical support. Uh, from architecture perspective, we support the mobile clients, Calum Touch, the web client for the, the Calum web, as well as uh, the offline, the Calum offline. In the uh, middle area, this is the Calum server, and uh, on the right hand side are the integration. And uh, Calum Enterprise provides both email and Active Directory integration out of the box. Just a quick overview of functions for Calum Enterprise. The first two rows uh, in blue are the maintenance functions, including assets, uh, locations, the schedules you can define for maintenance, uh, contract and their service level agreements, work orders, service request, and change management. The third row here are the inventory warehouse uh, functions and uh, requisition purchase orders to manage inventory, as well as other useful modules like document, project, integration, and others. The fourth row here in purple are the system functions supporting Calum Enterprise, including Mata Sites, Access Control, Screen and Data Customization, uh, Workflow Schedules, and uh, those are the system functions. And the last row here are the clients that we supported, the web client, mobile client, as well as offline client. To get started with Calum, you can pick a client that you like to use, depending on how you're going to use Calum. If you're a desktop user, you can choose to use Calum Web or Calum Touch. If you're a mobile user, mostly you like to uh, choose Calum Touch. If you're a mobile user without a network in the field where you work, uh, Calum Offline would be your choice. Just quickly for Calum Web, you just point your browser, it's either Chrome, Safari, IE, or Firefox, all those major browsers. Point your browser to your service address. For instance, uh, I'm showing here is the demo calum.com. Uh, that's the uh, service address. Then the web login screen would show up. At the web login, you can also choose Calum Touch as the uh, the mobile interface, it's a little simpler for the, for the web. You can also uh, 
choose not to log in and enter a service request without logging. So uh, once you log in, uh, Calum Web is shown as uh, the home desktop uh, page. On the left-hand side are the modules. For instance, uh, these modules are assigned to the users uh, who log in, and the modules can be customized. On the top are all the menus available, all the functions for the module. Calum Web allows you to open multiple forms at the same time. So we have a form tabs area so you can switch between open forms instantly. In the central area, the uh, area number four are the form. It includes form control, the form menus, search, as well as the form data. Uh, if you're using Calum Touch, and you can install uh, from uh, for iPhone uh, and uh, iPad, you can install from Apple's App Store. For Android devices, you can install from Google Play. And uh, once you launch the app, the uh, login screen is shown here. So you can enter your four uh, URL as the service address, username, and the password. Optionally, pick your language and locale. Then you can log into Calum. With the Calum Touch, you can do something supported on the native device, like uh, attach a photo or do barcode scan. So once log in, you can use a menu to access a function. For instance, you can scan asset, create an asset, create a location, or you can choose the module tab at the bottom to switch to, to a different tab. For instance, you can do settings tab and log out from there. And this one also demonstrates that you can use the Calum Touch uh, for the web. It would be the same as the same login screen format as the uh, the Windows as the mobile device, and uh, it's a little simpler and clean. And uh, you can do this from either Chrome or Safari browsers. And there are more modules showing at the module tabs at the bottom of the page for the desktop users. And otherwise, the UI is similar to the mobile interface. And the Calum Offline can be installed from Google Play. Uh, we support uh, only Android tablet for Calum Offline. And you can do barcode scan and attach photos for Calum Offline. When you launch it, uh, after initial setup, you will be prompted with username and a password. And uh, you can log into the offline. Uh, with offline, you can walk off work orders assigned to you from either your own assignment list or the tickets work orders assigned to your team. You can use uh, Barcode to scan an asset to find all the work orders uh, for that asset, or you can sync with the server. And uh, you can also kind of uh, uh, log out or go to the um, Calum Touch, which would invoke the web browser version for the mobile device to access Calum Touch uh, using the uh, Calum Touch client. And uh, that's all for the uh, quick start guide. Uh, hopefully, you can start using Calum Enterprise after the, uh, this initial uh, kind of uh, introduction. Uh, if there are any questions, please uh, contact us uh, at Calum. Thank you.